Who's the next candidate? And you are? Captain James T. Kelk. Now, let's talk a little bit about yourself. You've been working for the United Federation of Planets as captain of the Starship Enterprise. That's right, yes. And what does that entail? Well, I had to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. And what relevant skills can you bring from that to the position of receptionist stroke admin assistant? Well, um... I, uh... Can you tell us a little bit about your, your computer experience? Scanning Class M planets for life, probing gaseous anomalies and activating the self-destruct mechanism. So you haven't used Excel, then? Nor Word for Windows. Word for Windows? Let's talk about your communication skills. Well, I've dealt with Andorians, Organians, Romulans. Mm. Even Klingons. Oh, so you're good at languages. That's excellent. We're looking to make a push into Europe as a company. Now, can you tell me why you want this job? The stress of being in command of over 400 people, having to make life or death decisions every half hour, and the pressure of enforcing the Prime Directive. It was affecting my judgment. Bones said I should consider a less stressful career. Well, it's a very busy office. Yes, the phones never stop. Let's take an example. Let's say I'm in a meeting and a Mr Klingon phones up and demands to speak to me. What do you say? Red alert! <coughs> Defect shields up. Load photon torpedoes. Lock phaser banks on target. Right, let's try another example, shall we? Say that you're chasing an invoice from a Callister and Son. Now, how would you go about that? Lieutenant Uhura, open a channel to McAllister and Son. Mr. McAllister, this is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Prepare to have your invoice beamed aboard. Energize. Right, well, thank you very much for coming to see us. You'll be in touch? In the next few days. Thank you. Scotty, want to beam up? I'll just use the door then. Hmm.